Hello everyone and welcome to the Indian Express. Today we have an exclusive interview lined up with Dr. Preeti Nair, Director of International Relations at Parul University. In this insightful conversation, we'll be exploring Parul University's commitment to pushing the boundaries of education. From innovative mobility programs to collaborative research initiatives, Parul University is shaping the academic landscape with a strong focus on diversity and global exposure. Let's dive into this fascinating discussion. Hello viewers wherever you are. I am Flora Swain and you're watching the Indian Express on its official YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about bridging borders and building futures. We have with us today Dr. Preeti Nair, Director International Relations Parul University. In this video interview with Parul University's International Relations, the Indian Express delves into the university's commitment to exploring education beyond boundaries. Uh Dr. Nair, welcome. Thank you so much. So first of all, I would like to ask you uh that what are the kind of programs that Parul University offers uh via its international relations and uh what are the countries that you uh have currently collaborated with? Yeah. Thank you so much Flora for inviting me. I'm very happy to be here with you. So Parul University's internationalization began from the year 2013. so we have a very dedicated centralized office at the campus which focuses on giving uh, opportunities uh, for global exposure to all the students at the university campus so we work majorly with 17 countries in europe with usa with uk new zealand australia japan canada and other countries in asia so uh, it depends upon the student choices because each student has a different choice of taking up a program or choosing a country to you know go and explore so that is why we have this wide range of opportunities for the students with respect to the program we have three major verticals so the first vertical we call is that it has a mobility program under the mobility program the student has an opportunity to either take a summer school which is maybe of a two week four weeks or six weeks okay. or maybe a semester program of 6 months so the student is going for an entire duration of 6 months to a foreign university and study or maybe a one year project so under the mobility program the student goes for an academic exchange so it's majorly that the student goes and studies subjects there comes with credits back at the university where we give them a credit mapping with our curriculum Right. and the semester exchange programs are offered under scholarship seats okay. so the student is not paying anything for the tuition at the partner university because of the agreement okay. the second vertical is a pathway program under the pathway program the students who are already dreaming of doing a master program at a foreign country or a foreign university gets the benefit of going to the partner university under a scholarship and continuing with their masters there so this is what what pathway program offers to those students the third vertical is inbound programs under the inbound programs we have students coming in for different kind of summer schools which we offer to the foreign students we have foreign professors coming in from our partner universities they stay at our campus for a duration of minimum 3 to 4 weeks and teach our students one or two subjects so this is specifically for those students who do not get an opportunity to go abroad so they get an experience similarly we have summer schools offered on tailor made programs like entrepreneurship or social innovation we also host international professors and people from the international office for one week program which so there are many events under this category Uh, of you know uh, uh, events so these are majorly the three verticals in which we operate right um you know the concept of a global classroom you have sort of customized it in uh, various ways which is quite impressive uh, can you share how students have benefited significantly from your uh, mobility programs yeah so a uh, mobility program you know very briefly if i tell you about the yeah. student is choosing a foreign university and going and studying nearly 5 to 6 subjects 
बट अलॉन्ग विद द स्टडी ऑफ फाइव टू सिक्स सब्जेक्ट द स्टूडेंट ऑल्सो गेट्स अ कल्चरल एक्सपोजर यू नो अबाउट दैट कंट्री अबाउट दैर कल्चर एंड मे बी देर इज ऑल्सो ऑल्सो पॉसिबिलिटी दैट दैट मे बी अ फ्यूचर डेस्टिनेशन फॉर द स्टूडेंट टू डू अ मास्टर स्टडी इन दैट सेम यूनिवर्सिटी और इन दैट सेम कंट्री the other benefit is that uh, we also have erasmus plus scholarship under the scholarship program few selected students their entire cost is also bored, borne by the european union that means the travel cost the accommodation cost the uh, food expenses everything is borne by the european union in this mobility of the student from one country to the other country Right. So right. this is a very great advantage for students who are very bright with academics, and they get an opportunity to go to a different country and study. So these are different kind of benefits. So it, it, the first is academic, second is cultural, third is scholarship, and fourth is credit mapping. So the student gets a transcript of international credits, which of right. course is beneficial for job market. Right, and you never know when employment opportunities also open up, right? definitely definitely uh can you uh, tell us about the collaborative projects facilitated by the international relations cell at parul university and their impact on the global knowledge sharing yeah so uh, research is one very key aspect you know which comes out as a by product of collaboration with, between two universities Absolutely. so even if pal university is focusing on giving global opportunity to the students and the staff members but the outcome of it is majorly research for the university at the university level to give you an example under this erasmus scholarship program there are many instances in which we send a faculty member from pal university to the foreign university even if it is not erasmus with every group of student a faculty member is sponsored by the university to go to a foreign university with the students and be there for a minimum duration of 2 weeks so what happens is the faculty can discuss about research areas okay come back and work on some research topics or maybe publish joint papers so this is one aspect the second aspect is visiting professor program so under the visiting professor program the pro- professor is actually coming in to teach our students but then there is also a research component in which the faculty member gets a chance to meet the department at pal university discuss with them also the possibility of research collaboration correct and the third is we apply to european union for several research grants okay so it may be under european union or it may be under horizon projects or maybe under the department of science and technology so under this projects also we have been very fortunate to get huge funding with collaborating with european countries and maybe a period of Two to three years, so it's a long project in which lot of beneficiaries are there. Not only the university, the staff members, but also the students. So these kind of activities are there for research. Absolutely. Um. So while doing a little bit of uh, research on your international relations program, I came across something called the YEEP program. Y W E P. Yeah. So um can you delve into the details of this e program or however you pronounce it and um how does uh you know uh can you emphasize on its role in fostering uh, international entrepreneurship and innovation culture yeah so thank you so much about mentioning about e it's one of my favorite programs so e is a young entrepreneurship exchange project So okay. this was uh, this is basically organized with Bonn University of Applied Sciences, Switzerland, which is one of our very prominent partner universities in Europe. Yeah. So under this project, those students in Bonn University who take up entrepreneurship as their elective subject, they come to Palo University for a period of two to two and a half weeks for a very intensive program, in which they work on ideas. startup ideas of indian students so they form a group maybe a group of five students wherein two students are from pal university for a single idea with three students from switzerland and they work on this idea to executing it into a business plan 
in the period of this two two and a half weeks. So under this duration, they even have market research. They go and talk with customers. They go and talk with suppliers. They have investors coming in and guiding them about their business plan. So it's actually working model. It is not hypothetical, but it's a very realistic idea. It's a realistic business plan which they develop in the two weeks. And the last day is pitching. So they pitch to the investors about their business idea. Like so under this, kind of yes, it's a very interesting program which we have with Burn, and it's it's been five years we are running this program. So every year we have students coming from Switzerland for this exclusive program. Yeah. Although this gives them a fair idea about how India does business. Yeah, and it also gives the Indian students an idea about what European market will think about their product. Whether the same product will get work in Europe or not, so it is a, a, a embracing not only India but all the countries from where the students are coming from for the A program. So it makes locally made but globally accepted idea. Oh, that's beautiful! Cool. Yeah, so it's a very uh, engaging project which we are working upon. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, Parul University is offering students a chance to begin locally and finish globally. Yes. Uh, in this respect, can you tell us how are the pathway programs offering students this opportunity, and um, you know how can it foster international job opportunities and exposure as well? Yeah. So, uh, you know, under the mobility program, the students have to go for a certain duration and come back. Okay. So they're getting their global exposure only for a limited period of time. Okay. However, there are many students who aspire to do their, you know, education abroad, specifically their master's studies abroad. Yeah. But there are some students who would also like to, you know, go if there is a possibility maybe next year as well, not wait till their bachelor is over. So, because we had this kind of a need requirement from the students, we delved upon the idea of a two plus two program. Okay. So, a two plus two program is a program in which the student completes two years at Pal University and completes the third and the fourth year of their bachelor program at a partner university. So, in this, the advantage is that if the student would have gone for an entire bachelor program, the cost would have been. At least triple or four times because the fees, the tuition fees abroad is very high. But in this case, the student is actually paying Palo University's tuition fees for two years, and only the third and the fourth year fees at the foreign university. So the fees becomes substantially less. The second advantage is because it's a partner university, they get get they get huge amount of scholarship. Sometimes ranging from even five lakh to ten ten lakh of scholarship, right? For each student who goes through Pal University, the third advantage is that at our department we provide all services. So we do the admission process for the student. We handle the documentation. We assess the student for the visa process and even for booking their flight tickets and connecting them with the alumni in that foreign country where the student is going. Because we have already sent other students before, so it's a three sixty degree help and assistance which we give to the student. And on top of that, the international university doesn't have to bother with the quality of student because they know that this office will take care and a genuine student from Pal University with required transcripts and documents will be coming back to their university. Absolutely. So this is what a pathway model works like. So I just give you an example of two plus two, but we have similar one plus one, three plus one. So several programs, various combinations. Yes, combination which we work with the foreign universities. Uh, right. Uh, so you mentioned the EAP program. Uh, I'm sure you have other inbound exchange programs as well. Yes. So um, can you shed light on how they are providing international students as well? Like apart from Indian students, they also. Um, give international students uh, a wholesome experience of India's custom, traditions, education system, our market. Like you said, India is now um, the uh, largest market in a lot of sectors 
for the entire world. So yeah. tell us something about your other inbound exchange program. So Flora, um, you know, I'm a we are we are all proud Indians, you know, and it's always an honor to showcase what India has to offer. So uh, what we do is we create summer schools which are tailor made for Patna universities. So say for example, we have students from Canada who come every year, year to us from Humber College. So they work on topics like social innovation. So when the students come, they stay at least for a duration of four weeks with us, in which we offer social innovation, uh, you know, the program in different modules. However, along with that academic content, we also give them an experiential learning about Indian culture. So when I say Indian culture, we engage them in things like Indian dances, music, festival celebration, uh, Indian cooking, Indian pedagogical practices, Indian political situation, Indian academics, Indian history, even take them to heritage sites. Say, for example, Gandhi Ashram in Ahmedabad. We even take them, the students to the, uh, Ahmedabad. So it involves a, a, you know, a large aspect about showcasing what India is all about. So students get a real feel about India rather than, you know, they're reading about India in their own country. So that is how we combine the academic and the cultural uh, experiential package. So it's a whole package. So that is how when they go back, they they understand India a little more. Breaking all the stereotypes which they have about India. Yeah. Uh, So coming to the other end of the spectrum, if you spoke about the uh, inbound exchange program, I'm sure you also have an outbound exchange program where, you know, you give the same kind of opportunities uh, uh, to the Indian student, uh, Indian students, which I believe is also a part of your uh, mobility program, right? Yes. Yes. So in the outbound program, as I mentioned before, the students have a choice. So we offer nearly 50 to 55 outbound programs and they can choose where they want to go, which country they want to go, whether they want to go for a short duration or a long-term duration, right? There are also uh, scholarships other than Erasmus, like national scholarship. So some of our students have also benefited from the national scholarship offered by those countries, uh, you know, wherein the cost is entirely borne by the government of that country. But in this case, again, it is not only about academics. It's also about a cultural exposure, you know. So when a student goes from Palo University, so we know the personality of the student when the student is going. However, I can, you know, uh, uh, say this very confidently and assure that when the student comes back, you know, comes back as a changed person because this teaches the students about how to embrace differences in culture, in pedagogical practices in a different country. Also make the students self-reliant, you know, and a lot more independent and mature. Uh, So when they come back, they come back as a different person influencing the other students also in their classrooms. Same with the staff. So with each group of students, Palo University sponsors a staff member to accompany them. So the staff member also brings back a lot of, uh, you know, learning from the foreign university about the system, the pedagogy, the culture, and that is passed on to those students who have not got an opportunity to go abroad. So it's not like a one-time experience, but it's a life-changing experience. That is what I would like to say. Absolutely. It's actually a life-changing experience, no matter what the duration of uh, time it lasts. Uh, You uh, continuously spoke about the Erasmus program. So um, how has Parul University leveraged Erasmus Plus and other EU-funded programs to enhance internships, higher education studies, and research projects in the top European universities? Okay, so Erasmus is a very, uh, you know, very important scholarship program, which is actually uh, not applied by Indian universities. Okay. So... Indian universities who have very strong partnership with the European universities tend to undertake this Erasmus projects. So the European university on behalf of the cooperation between our university and their university apply to the European Union for this funding. 
and this funding is given by the European Union based upon the years of experience they have as collaborators or the activities which have been already done in the past. So to motivate such kind of activities further, the funding is offered. So the funding is offered to students wherein the student get a monthly allowance of 500 to 600 euros and also their travel expenses is borne under the program. The student goes for an entire semester to study in Europe. The second is it is also offered to the staff members, inbound and outbound both. So many of our professors also go under the Erasmus Plus program to the partner university, which is entirely funded by the European Union. Okay. And the third area is uh, Erasmus is also given for projects. Again, we have to apply for the project jointly with the partner university. However, in the project, it is not about only one university. There is a consortium which is formed when minimum three to four universities from India, from European Union, maybe from other countries, form a consortium, a joint team, and then apply for the project. Okay. So there are different kind of projects under uh, this Erasmus Plus. Uh, so, with such an active international relations cell at Barrel University, I'm sure you have a lot of students, you know, who are coming into the university, who are in the outbound programs. Tell us about uh, the uh, vibrant, inclusive and diverse student community at the university. Uh, you have students from, uh, what, around 70 plus countries, I guess? Yes, yes. Tell us about the student community at the university. So, uh, you know, Palo University believes that uh, it should be a global classroom. Each classroom should be a global classroom because this helps the students to become global citizens. Right. They understand every culture. They understand people. They meet people from different, uh, you know, countries. They understand the political situation in different countries. They understand the similarities and respect the differences also. So for creating these global, uh, you know, cl classrooms, it is very important that we have a classroom wherein we have students from different countries. So as you rightly mentioned, we have students from 70 plus nationalities who are there at our university. And the interesting part, Flora, is that uh, all festivals are celebrated. So imagine celebrating 70 plus national days in our university celebrating each festival in our university. So it becomes a cultural hub. So not only academics is fostered upon, but also culturally it becomes very vibrant. And also to, you know, keep the students as a part of a family, we yeah. also have infrastructure like having mess specifically for the international students from maybe chef from their country or preparing food of their country, right? Which makes them very much comfortable on the campus. Absolutely. Also, we have, you know, days wherein exhibitions are organized. So for example, if students are from Indonesia, so they have their stalls wherein, you know, they showcase Indonesian products, maybe clo clothing or food. So the Indian students who have not been to Indonesia get a glimpse about how the culture at Indonesia is like. Right. So this develops the students, not only the Indian students, but also the international students, because similar to how international festivals are celebrated, we also celebrate Indian festivals. So in the end of that four year bachelor program or a two year master program, they become an entire family, you know, where they understand each other a lot much better. They make many friends on Insta or Facebook, right? even after completion of their program at Palo University. So that is how we look at uh, the international students who are there with us from different countries. So they become a family. That's so interesting. That's really cool. Um, so we spoke uh, extensively about the bachelor's programs, but I'm sure you have students uh, after bachelor's who want to pursue master's abroad. Uh, can you elaborate on the support that Parul University provides to such students who are transitioning to new study destinations? Yes. So uh, we have created this vertical in which those students who are interested to do masters, you know, we counsel them first. 
because many students do not know the dynamics of different countries absolutely so different countries have you know different financial models different affordability with respect to the fees with respect to the living expenses with respect to the courses even the duration of the program whether those programs will be valid in india or not so we been academicians we been part of the universities in several years we understand how the education system works Correct. so what we do is when we have students who are interested we counsel them very thoroughly trying to understand what kind of future they are looking to right whether they have enough financial capacity to go into that particular country or can we offer them more affordable countries or more affordable university or can we offer them a partner university which we have also visited which we know that okay this university is a reputed university a public university with these kind of programs which will also have a credibility back in india so counseling becomes a very important aspect for study abroad programs the second is that we assess the student in the admission process so we become a mediator between the student and our partner university right sending all the documents and time ensuring that the students have the transcript you know in a proper manner right helping them pay their fees at the university so it's all the support facilities which we offer at our department to the students we also let the student as uh, you know in their visa application process we give them an orientation about how the visa interview will be you know help them with ielts so we have a coaching center of ielts german language and french also at our campus and also assist them in booking the flight tickets we also have a very strong alumni department which connects alumni across the globe so we connect these students who want to go to say for example us to the already settled alumni of fall university in us so they get that help of understanding about accommodation understanding the different practices there so you know even landing support is offered by us so what 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 we are trying to do is giving a wholesome experience so that the parents are not worried about the student going to a foreign country for the first time because the entire process is taken care by us so that is how we book i think the biggest takeaway that i took from all of this is you help in the visa process because i know how difficult it gets for a student you're dealing with so much paperwork on top yes. of that visa i think that's really great that uh, you know your support system is uh, on such a wholesome level it covers all aspects especially with the alumni networking as well um a lot of international conferences seminars and exhibitions and conclaves are add ons to uh, the entire um, uh, you know experience of inbound and outbound programs uh, so can you uh, tell us what kind of um, conferences seminars exhibitions and conclaves the international relations cell at uh, parallel university organizes uh, to induce an atmosphere of internalizations yeah so uh, uh, international conferences are held you know across different faculties at the university say for example faculty of engineering and technology uh, holds annual conferences which are international level so what we do is we invite professors from our partner universities to become a speaker in the conference or maybe it's a joint organization with a partner university right wherein uh, you know the delegates from also the foreign university come in as panel members or as organizers or maybe reviewers of the paper for publication so it is done at the faculty level right other than that we organize international week so that is one of our signature event okay. we organize this event two times in a year in the month of february and in the month of september wherein we invite uh, professors or uh, non teaching staff from the foreign university to come and be here with us for one week duration in this one week duration we give them an exposure about pal university we make them engage with students for their programs to promote their programs we make them engage with different departments 
with whom they can collaborate for the future cooperation right and also at the same time give them experiential cultural experiences so it's a one week program which is delving about making the partnership more stronger right and it's a funded program so we don't charge from the international participants who come to our campus so it's it's a kind of you know uh, making them feel as a very important guest at our university so that the partnership gets strengthened in a very effective manner because until and unless you have a real time exposure yeah to the culture to the university to the country you cannot go back and promote it among among your students until you have experienced it by yourself so that is how we encourage our partner university members to come in at our campus and experience everything about what india and pal university and the culture is to offer to the students absolutely so from mobility and faculty exchange programs to inbound outbound programs to collaborative research initiatives paral university is actually shaping the academic landscape with a focus on diversity and global exposure and like you rightly pointed out the entire culture of a global classroom yeah uh, uh dr naya thank you for speaking to us today and thank you for um providing an insight on how paral university's international relations cell is giving students an opportunity to start local and finish global Uh, I'm Flora Swain, and you're watching the Indian Express on its official YouTube channel.